And welcome back. China's urban population has just jumped to more than 700 million. The huge leap from only about 200 million in the past three decades has caused phenomenal economic growth, but also a host of problems. Who have been the winners and losers in this urbanization push? Let's find out. Imagine permanently relocating half the population of the United States in only seven years. That's what Chinese leaders are hoping to do throughout China. By 2020, the Chinese regime wants 60 percent of the country's 1.4 billion people out of the countryside and into cities. And the urbanization push is making local officials rich. In the past decade, some local governments have made up to 30 trillion yen from the urbanization push. Top Chinese economist Wu Jinglian from the Development Research Center of the State Council gave the figure during a forum on March 23rd. The conservative estimate is equal to almost 5 trillion US dollars. But while local governments are getting rich, farmers are losing out. Selling land to developers has become hugely profitable for authorities because even though they're meant to compensate farmers, often it's too little, if anything is paid at all. The government promises them free housing and resettlement fees, but it fails to uphold this. Now migrant farmers have to find their own housing and pay for everything themselves. China's local government relies so heavily on selling land because it's a major source of revenue. In the U.S., local governments can issue municipal bonds to raise money. But in China, local governments basically have to make their own money and land is easily accessible. The land in China is not privately owned. The state has a monopoly. The land prices are set by the state and all of the land development is approved by the government, so the whole thing is directed by the government. The urbanization push is part of the regime's attempt to sustain economic growth that is slow to a 13-year low of 7.8 percent. But the cost of social unrest and unchecked official corruption created by urbanization could be a higher price to pay.